Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey what's up guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Git series. Today I'm going to show you how to initiate your repository and make changes to it. So first of all you have to create a folder and go inside it. Now you have to right click git bash here and wait for it to load. Okay, so here we are. So the first thing you need to do is use git init so the this file gets created. If you don't see it, that means that you have to go here, um, view and hidden items. You have to check this box and you're gonna see the file. Okay, so now we can make a test file so you do this test.txt um, this arrow means create file and you hit enter and here it is let's open it let's write something in there so hello world save it and let me put it here go back here okay so now if you do get status you're gonna see that the file is there and it's red if it's red means that the file is not on stage and it cannot be committed yet if it's green let me show you I do git add test the txt if it's green let's go back if it's green it means that the file is ready to be committed and it's on stage okay so we're back here when the file is red so if you want to put it green you can do git um, add and the file name so this test a txt you hit enter go back to git status and you're gonna see that the file is green right now so if you want to remove that file from here it's as easy as to use see this you can just copy that and paste it here uh, I suggest you do it manually so you can get rm dash dash catched and the file name which is test.txt okay so if you now do get um, status you can see that the file is red again so if you for some reason added the wrong file you can just do that if you want to add everything, every file there is, so you don't have to type like it, add test1, test2, test3, you can just do git add and a dot, which means everything, and it, it'll add everything. So let's see, let me create some test file, git status and you see that there are two files so if I do git add everything hit enter git status enter and you're gonna see that the two files got added so I didn't have to type git add test2 test3 so I created this test folder and added these two files and if we do git status you're gonna see that there is a new um, file well in this case it's a folder and you're gonna see that there is a slash under uh, after it that means it's a folder and if you want to add just a folder you can use the test and the slash and it'll add everything in the in the folder do git status you're gonna see that the test 2 and test 1 from the test folder got added to it if you want to remove the folder we just added from the stage you can do git rm dash dash catched catched um, the folder name is test and the slash don't forget the slash and we have to type dash r so it can remove everything inside the folder so if we do git status 
we can see that the folder is now red. Okay, now we are going to commit our changes. If you do git status, you have to make sure everything is green, everything you want to commit is green. So now we can do git commit dash m um, open quotation mark and write something. You can write first commit and close the quotation mark, hit enter. You're gonna see that they're here the files are here and it says created node and the file name now if we do git um, status we're gonna see that there's nothing here so that means everything got committed to our branch our master branch if you wanna know what a master branch is you have to wait for the next episodes and now if we change a file let's say this file we have open we can do git status you're gonna see that there's this file this file name and it got modified okay so now if we do git add everything I'm gonna do everything because it's just one file that changed we hit enter then go git status we're gonna see that the file is now green and one thing um, before I teach I taught you how to remove a file from the stage well that's just if you haven't commit anything yet but if you have committed an, uh, something and you just want to remove it from here and not the tree you can do what it says up here so you do git reset head and the file name which is test.txt if you do hit git status you're gonna see that the file is now red but however, if you do what I taught you earlier, you're gonna see git status. Let me show you. So it's green. If we do git rm dash dash got catched um, test txt and do git status status, you're gonna see that the file got deleted from the master branch. And now it's on the on track files. So if you for some reason committed something uh, to the master branch, you can delete it by running that command. Okay, so once we have modified and add added the file to the stage, you can do git commit dash m and open quotation mark second commit close it hit enter git status and there it is nothing is on the stage and everything is done so that's it for today's video um thank you for tuning in i hope you learned something and see you on the next one